Who's asking? Leland Monroe. I was wondering when you'd get around to calling. I'd like to meet with you, Mr. Kelso. I bet you would, Mr. Monroe. But I value my skin highly enough to not want to meet with you. Why don't you just send some more of your boys around and we'll have a nice cup of tea? You realize that I could make you a very wealthy man, Mr. Kelso. Better than $220 a month? You're a very witty man, Kelso. Substantially better. I'm going to have to let it slide, Mr. Monroe. Are you haggling with me, Jack? I might be. Come around to my place at 9. 5164 Santa Monica Boulevard. You'll come? I might. Good night, Mr. Monroe. Appreciate the help, all of you. We can reminisce later. I want a minimum of noise and no prisoners. No prisoners? This isn't Pele Lu, Jack. These guys are grifting GIs. That's what they do for a living. It's okay, Jack. We all feel the same way. It just hasn't turned out quite the way we imagined. Let's get it done. Teams of two at the ready. Hold the perimeter. I got personal business with Mr. Leland Monroe. You're a very sweet-looking girl to be holding such a big gun. I know how to use it, mister. I'm sure you do. So how about pointing it over there in the direction of Hollywood instead of at me, princess? You're quite the wise guy. I don't normally shoot women, princess. How about putting the cannon down? Ah! Oh. I 
didn't think you had the guts, sweetheart. I was never very good at reading women. Monroe! Where are you, damn it? You want me? You got me. Jack Kelso. That's my opening negotiating position. Oh, you crazy son of a bitch. How did you get in here? I'm bleeding to death. Get me a doctor. I thought I had an invitation, Monroe. Your boys outside were certainly expecting me. That's my second offer. You sadistic bastard. What do you want? I'm going to take a look around, Monroe. Then I want you to tell me what you know about the mayor and those Trojan houses that you're building. Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Remind me what they say about absolute power, Monroe. Fuck you, Jack. Ah, call me an ambulance already. Hell of a payroll. I'm guessing Benson's portfolio is only a fraction the size of yours, Monroe. Smart. Keep the dirt on Fontaine under lock and key. This is your insurance. Sold up. The others obviously didn't know the links these sons of bitches would go to. It can't be stopped, Kelso. There's too much money at stake. Kingdoms rise and kingdoms fall, Monroe. Ask the Emperor of Japan. Have some fucking mercy! Operator, put me through to Phelps, arson squad. Yeah, Biggs, it's Jack. I'm at Monroe's. He's in a talkative mood. If you get here in a hurry, you might get something before he bleeds to death. Oh, thank God. Where? Fontaine. Dead? 
former patient. <laughs> so that crazy son of a bitch finally came back for a checkup. It's Monroe. He's raving. You want information, cocksucker. You get me some medical help. I've got to go, Herschel. Monroe's negotiating again. Do you want my final offer, Leland? Tell me how I find the guy who has Elsa. Not Casey. He, he did whatever Fontaine asked. He, he had some kind of power over him. He, he, he did all the fires and, and then he went off Monroe. the rails. I don't have a fucking name. He worked at the bug sprayer. Get me a goddamn doctor. Kill her, you son of a